Hey y'all, this is Emil Cameron with some DoorDash tips for y'all today. Um, just gonna take y'all along with uh, just a few, a few good things to look out for and things you might want to implement while you're driving. Um, tip number one, um, I would say be patient. Um, a lot of times I see people while I'm dashing, while I'm in a restaurant, they may come in and the order's not ready and they get all upset and they unassign the order and i'm like yo if you just waited five minutes it would have been done and you could have been on with your day and now you gotta probably have to wait another 10 or 15 minutes for another order because you're unassigned uh, and a lot of those times when they unassign that order comes right to me so step one tip one be patient be patient tip number two I would say to dash from your house um, if you can I know some of you live in areas that aren't uh, as busy or I guess modern I was I'm lucky enough to live in a place right between two major roads so I'm able to dash from my home so if you're able to do that I would suggest that um, saves you a lot of gas uh, anytime I make a delivery I head straight back there and wait it out because I live around enough restaurants that I can't. Um, I never go to any hot spots or any, like, anything like that because um, I feel like I live next to everything that I need to be. So, tip two, dash from your house if you can. Tip number three would be always text or call the customer. Whether it's a uh, leave at the door, door uh, delivery, or if it's a handed to me, always text them. If it's handed to me, text them, you know, your estimated time of arrival. Like you'll be there in like three minutes or just text them when you get close. Cause that will save you a lot of time uh, looking for them. If they live in, a, in an apartment or even if they live in a the house, they'll probably already be outside waiting on you. Um, and if it's a leave at your door, just text them just, you know, just to be a good person, to not have their food sitting out there on the stoop, on the doorstep, waiting for anybody to come and take it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what I like to do. Uh, just give them a heads up, either if I'm handing it to them or leaving it at the door. And also, when you text them, it, you know, it gives them a little more connection to, like, you as a driver. Um, and that little... I guess like encourage them to give you a better rating uh, five stars four star just to boost boost your score on DoorDash so yeah text them makes it it makes it more personal especially when you're leaving it at the door you you become an actual person to them so that's also a, a reason I would say text or call the person you're delivering to no matter no matter what no matter what Tip number four, I would say always dash at the busy times. That's breakfast, that's usually about six to 10. Um, lunch time, which is about 11 to two, and dinner time, which is about four to nine. Um, those are your three busiest times. Uh, that's the times I like to go mainly. That gives me the most, most bang for my buck while I'm driving. Um, but you can dash all day if that's you. Those are just my tips. I dash at those times because they give me the best dollar per mile and per delivery. Usually during those times too, they'll give you like a, a, a what is it, a peak pay or like a challenge during those times. So that's why I like to scoop those times up too. And also with the tips, I would say try to schedule in advance that way you you're guaranteed to have those spots i know once you get like a certain rating or something they let you um they let you schedule a little earlier than the other dashers who might be newer or aren't as uh customer service efficient um you get the schedule before those guys so do that if you can Tip number five is look at where you're going before you accept the order. Um, even though it may be short or a quick order, 
you may not know that area at all. So before I accept, I like to zoom in on the map, which you can do. They give you about 30, 40 seconds to look at the order before you accept or decline it. Um, and that'll just allow you to see where you're going. Uh, I like to accept the orders where I know, you know, the area like the neighborhood or or the downtown district or wherever I'm going. If it's like to an apartment, you can see that based on the layout of the map. Uh, if it's a neighborhood, you know, you'll be able to tell there'll be a lot of streets around the place you're going or it'll be a business. So there'll be a lot of like main roads around it. Um, so yeah, those are a little tip to help you uh, get your deliveries done faster. Cause I, I, I noticed at apartments, sometimes these places could be super huge like 50 70 complexes and lots of times people don't leave you their building number so you have to call and then they have to give you special instructions when you could have avoided that altogether uh just by looking at the map <laughs> and got a much quicker delivery to someone's house or somewhere you know um that doesn't happen all the time but it does happen sometimes so just just be weary of that. Uh, look at the map before you accept. <laughs> Tip number six, I would say try to make a dollar per mile. Um, I see a lot of other other Dasher YouTubers like to talk about uh, the $3 orders or <laughs> the hated $2 orders. Um, but try to, make, try to make at least a dollar per mile whenever you accept. Um, don't be don't be driving 10 miles for like four dollars you know that's just not worth it uh not worth your time um not saying you know cherry pick or never accept that order but just make sure it's worth your while make sure you feel like doing that um and feel like it's worth it usually i i like to accept the orders that are like four or five or six miles um they, those usually give me a good pay no matter what um i usually like to do the 10 10 dollar orders if they're like at least 11 or 12 dollars more uh in order so to make sure i'm getting that dollar a mile that's very important yeah you don't want to be spending most of your time uh driving in one order you know what i mean some of them could be really long. The longest I've got is like a, a 15 miler. And that was like $10. I had to turn that one down. But just just be mindful of that. Tip number seven. I would say don't drive while you're looking for orders. Um, uh, like me, I could, I could, like earlier said, I could go back to my home. Because I'm lucky enough to live in between two major roads where there's a lot of restaurants. Um, but try to try to park somewhere somewhere close to a restaurant not like directly in front of a restaurant because I've noticed if you like a little bit out from the restaurants like two two three one one mile away from the restaurants they give you a little more if you have to drive to the restaurant and then to your customer they give you an extra your extra few dollars so I try not to go to any hot spots. I just try to stay close because you get a little extra cash if you uh, have to drive there. Be mindful of that. Tip number eight. Um, with all that's going on with uh, the coronavirus and everything, I would say, uh, you know, they have us uh, leave the orders at the door. Um, tip number eight, I would say, I always take pictures I always take pictures of whatever you're leaving try to get a picture of uh, the address um, and yourself in it basically try to try to take a selfie <laughs> with what you're dropping off so you have some proof um, just in case you know there's some people out there that are dishonest they like to get food for free just take pictures to protect yourself so be mindful, always take pictures if they're telling you to leave it. You don't wanna get stuck out because somebody lying on you, you know what I mean? 
tip number nine, uh, I would say make sure to get you like an app or something to record your miles or record them yourself. There's a lot of things you can write off uh, of your taxes come tax time, um, like maintenance on your car, uh, gas, um, apps you buy to track the things you do while door dashing. Just make sure you record everything. And also, you make sure you have upkeep on your car. Um, that's very important since it's, that's our main way of being able to work. Always get your oil changes monthly. There's a lot of things uh, out there to help us. Discounts for everything. And yeah, just make sure you keep upkeep on your car, tires, oil basic maintenance and yeah right now i'm getting the subway order uh almost missed it because i was recording um i'm pulling up now it's worth ten dollars um yeah and we're gonna make it we're gonna go in there and get it but before before we do gotta make sure we put on our mask you know covid covid 19 gotta put on that mask mask on mask on Offset mask on. We're back. We're back. We're back. Back in the car now. We got uh we got the order. Uh four and a half miles away from our destination. any of these tips uh, be sure to like and subscribe um, I'm gonna be doing more of these videos I'm trying to get a another camera so I can dash and you know record at the same time it's kind of hard with one so I'm gonna be doing more of these once I get a new phone maybe or I'll probably do it without it probably because phones are expensive especially ones with good cameras um, yeah if you like the video subscribe like uh I'll be posting more soon peace out y'all